Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. Hello, my QuickBase Junkie friends. I recently released a video on how to set up and install the new Gantt chart plugin. And there have been two questions that I've been seeing repeatedly asked around this new plugin. The first is, do I have to use the app from the App Exchange? And the answer is no. You can add the Gantt plugin to an existing project management app. And that leads to the second question, which is, is it really this much work to add it to an existing app? Do I have to have all of these tables and all of these fields and map them all together in order to access the plugin for the Gantt charts? And the answer to that is yes. But please remember this, the work that's necessary to identify what tables and fields you'll need, what ones might already exist versus which are new, map those to the plugin itself in order to get that interactive Gantt chart to work for you is still a bajillion times less than if you had to do this all from scratch. Building out that interactive Gantt chart would be an immense undertaking. And if you're in a business account or an enterprise account, it's already there for you, but there will be some work to be done. If you need help with doing this in one of your existing apps, I know people. I might not be able to help you myself, but I do know so many amazing QuickBase developers and I can put you in touch with them if that's something you're interested in doing. So I hope that answers some of your burning questions about the new Gantt chart plugin. Bye for now.